Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I want to first recap where we are at right now. Season to date, total snowfall. Alaska is way above and beyond anything here in the lower 48. 223 inches up there so far. Alta Snowbird, the closest competitors, 138 to 146. Um, Grand Targhee and Jackson Hole at about 124, 125. Snowmass Colorado at about 114. And a bunch of resorts under 100. But near the end of the bottom of the list right there, the Sierra, not surprising. You've been out of the flow for so much of this fall and early winter period. Taos is way down there, but you've got a storm coming for Taos, Angel Fire, uh, northern New Mexico, southern Colorado. So we're going to get moderate to heavy accumulations out of that storm system. Here are my bullet points. We're really in the western doldrums right now. Very quiet period, with that one exception. That southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, area of low pressure, 12, 13, 12, 14. And I'll look at that coming up. I'm also watching the possibility of a nor'easter, nothing set in stone. We may have a stronger storm area of low pressure develop over Florida and sweep up the eastern seaboard. Now, the one problem I see with this is that it's going to be really warm. So we're looking at a lot of rain initially out of this, if it happens. And in California, like I was talking about with these western doldrums, I mean, you might have a storm on 12, 18, uh, and the snow levels could be quite high uh, because of just the amount of warmth getting blasted into the west right now. Um, but really, the pattern doesn't change significantly until even after that, uh, after 1218, maybe even after 1220, maybe even later. So that's all part of what I'm seeing right now. I want to take you into the water vapor satellite imagery. So let me mark what's happening. There's this southern low that's going to start to strengthen down here, and that will push moderate to heavy snow into southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. This big low is not a player. It's moving up Canada. Now, this low is a player. Let me show you the flow. So, big trough out here. Polar jets up there. So, we're getting flooded across the west with all this warm air. Southern branch is what's directing that low eventually and supporting it. But what's going to happen over time is this trough will start to dig south. And it's going to end up somewhere in here, just off the coast of California. And by the 18th, it may push some moisture in. But it's going to set up there and it's going to take its sweet time. And the pattern's not going to change for a while. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the current state of affairs right now. Watch what happens by tomorrow morning. Things start to gel a little bit in Colorado and we're looking at some new snow. Maybe even some light snow through the city of Denver. But the low really begins to develop during the day. And by the end of the day, we're looking at heavy snow, moderate to heavy snow, southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. And that would be the case into Thursday morning. And then during the day on Thursday, the low breaks up and moves away by the end of, uh, end of the day. And then again, we're still in the doldrums here, just waiting on something, waiting on anything across the west. A lot of cloud cover, a lot of warm air. Finally, by the time we get into late 17 and, and it's probably into the 18th, we start to see some moisture begin to move towards California. But again, I think when this hits, we're going to have pretty high snow levels. Um, and really nothing significant in terms of snow happens until after this. So it's a waiting game. All right, here's the jet stream uh, pattern. So by tomorrow, late in the day, you can see the dip in the southern jet cut off from the northern branch. So there's no cold air. There's really not a lot of cold air with this. And that's what's going to snow in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. You can see the big trough out over the Pacific beginning to translate and move uh, into that position I was talking about earlier. So this is even further down the road. This is 1221. At this point, you can see the, the, um, the trough sitting off the coast of California. It's not moving much, and it may even be cut off from the northern branch. You can see how it's closing off. This would be supported by the southern branch potentially at this point. So again, we're talking about warm air. Um, let me show you my numbers, snow numbers here. So this is 1212 through 1215. The rest of today through the 15th, you can see the, the snow that really occurs is most significant in uh, Colorado, especially in the southern mountains and northern uh, areas of New Mexico. We could see 6 to 10 inches of accumulation in those areas. And there's a fair amount of snow up in BC as well through the coastal range. Now, beyond that, I just don't have much of anything here. Um, we're looking at 1216 through 1221. And like I said, when that precip finally hits California, we're going to see snow, high snow levels. So that's going to cut down on potential accumulation. At least that's the way it looks right now. There's still accumulation happening up in BC, but everybody else just getting scraps. There's not much there. 
Now, I want to show you what the jet looks like for 1217 late in the day. So if that if that nor'easter happens, it's it's 1217, 1218, 1219, somewhere in there. You can see the jet dipping and there's development um, supporting an area of low pressure somewhere coming out of Florida and developing over the Carolinas. But again, you're pushing a lot of warm air and you're not talking about a big deep trough pulling in cold air from Canada. That's not the way this looks. But there's something there that tries to develop. So we'll keep an eye on that. Right now, I'm not forecasting much snow. 1212 through 1221. Again, if it starts as rain, it turns over to snow on 1218 at some point, and we could be looking at a few inches. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, this update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.